Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sonika. In today's video, we're diving into something really exciting, advanced interview questions for Dynamics 365 model-driven apps. Whether you're preparing for an interview or just looking to deepen your understanding of Dynamics 365, you're in the right place. We'll be covering some of the most frequently asked questions and providing insights to help you ace that interview. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. All right, let's get into it. Question one, can you explain the concept of Dataverse and its role in Dynamics 365 model-driven apps? Dataverse, formerly Common Data Service, is the data platform that underpins Dynamics 365 and Power Platform applications. It provides a secure and scalable database to store and manage data used by business applications. Dataverse supports standard and custom entities, tables, relationships, and business logic, enabling seamless integration and automation across various applications. Question two, what are forms in Dynamics 365 model-driven apps and how do you customize them? Forms in Dynamics 365 model-driven apps are user interfaces used to create, view, and interact with data records. You can customize forms by one, navigating to the form designer, two, adding or removing fields, sections, and tabs, three, configuring properties for fields and controls, four, implementing business logic using JavaScript or business rules, five, customizing the layout and appearance to enhance user experience. Question three, how do you implement role-based security in Dynamics 365 model-driven apps? One, create security roles, define roles based on job functions and responsibilities. Two, assign privileges, specify privileges, create, read, update, delete for each entity and task within the role. Three, assign roles to users slash teams. Assign the created roles to users or teams to control their access and permissions. Four, test security roles. Ensure the roles function as intended by testing them with different user accounts. Question four, explain how you can use JavaScript in Dynamics 365 model-driven apps. What are some common use cases? JavaScript can be used to enhance the functionality and user experience of model-driven apps. Common use cases include form validation, ensuring data entered by users meets specific criteria, field calculations, performing real-time calculations based on user input, hiding slash showing fields, dynamically showing or hiding fields based on certain conditions, custom actions, triggering custom actions or workflows based on user interactions. Question five, what are plugins in Dynamics 365 and how do you develop and deploy them? Plugins are custom code that runs in response to specific events in Dynamics 365, such as record creation or update, to develop and deploy plugins. One, develop the plugin, write the plugin code in c -sharp using the Dynamics 365 SDK. Two, register the plugin, use the plugin registration tool to register the plugin with the desired entity and event. Three, deploy the plugin, Test the plugin in a development environment before deploying it to production. Question six, how do you create workflows in Dynamics 365 and what are some best practices for using them? One, navigate to workflows. Go to settings, processes, new and select workflow. Two, define workflow steps. Configure the steps and conditions to automate business processes. Three, activate the workflow. Validate and activate the workflow to make it operational. Best practices. Keep workflows simple and modular. Use asynchronous workflows for long running processes. Test workflows thoroughly in a sandbox environment. Question seven. How do you manage data imports and exports in Dynamics 365? One, data import. Use the data import wizard to map and import data from CSV, XML, or Excel files. Two, data export. 
export data to Excel or use the Data Export Service for continuous data synchronization. Three, data management. Use data management tools and features to ensure data integrity and consistency. Question eight, can you describe the process of integrating Dynamics 365 model-driven apps with other systems? One, identify integration requirements. Determine the data and processes to be integrated. Two, dot choose integration method. Use APIs, connectors, or middleware, e.g. Power Automate, Azure Logic Apps, based on the integration scenario. Three, develop and test integration. Implement the integration and test it thoroughly. Four, monitor and maintain integration. Ensure the integration runs smoothly and address any issues that arise. Question nine, what are data flows in Dynamics 365 and how are they used? Data flows are a tool within Power Platform used to extract, transform, and load, eat yell, data from various sources into Dataverse or other destinations. They are used to import and cleanse data from multiple sources, automate data transformation processes, ensure data consistency and accuracy. Question 10. What are PCF, Power Apps Component Framework, controls, and how do you create and use them in Dynamics 365 model-driven apps? PCF controls are custom components that can be embedded in model-driven apps to provide enhanced functionality and user experience. To create and use PCF controls. One, develop the control. Use the PCF CLI and tools to create the custom control. Two, package and deploy. Package the control and import it into the Dynamics 365 environment. Three, configure the control. Add the control to forms or views and configure its properties. Question 11. How do you optimize the performance of a Dynamics 365 model-driven app? Optimize queries. Ensure queries are efficient and avoid retrieving unnecessary data. Use caching. Implement caching for frequently accessed data. Minimize plugins and workflows. Reduce the number of plugins and workflows to decrease processing overhead. Monitor performance. Use performance monitoring tools to identify and address bottlenecks. Question 12. What are the key considerations for deploying a Dynamics 365 model-driven app to different environments, development, testing, production? Environment configuration. Ensure each environment, development, testing, production is configured correctly. Data migration. Plan and execute data migration strategies to move data between environments. Solution management. Use managed and unmanaged solutions to package and deploy customizations. Testing. Thoroughly test all customizations and integrations in a testing environment before deploying to production. Backup and recovery. Implement backup and recovery plans to protect data and configurations. And that's a wrap for today's video on advanced interview questions for Dynamics 365 model-driven apps. I hope you found these questions and answers helpful in your interview preparation. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might also find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos on tech tips, tutorials, and more. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy learning, and good luck with your interview preparation.